Funny Marco interviewing Michael Blackson. Now I know damn well this shit gonna be funny. This man Funny Marco been doing these interviews. Them shit's been hilarious. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just go ahead and react to him. I know this is gonna be funny. Turn this up. Why? Why did? Why did? Yo. Round of applause for Michael Black. Why does man I come? Said. Why does man come dressed in the most craziest shit? Like damn. What's up with you? Oh, man. Like my son. Funny ass nigga, man. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's go, man. You ready? So, Michael Blackstone. Mm -hmm. Son, ain't no T in my name. Hmm? You said Michael <laughs> Blackston or Black Son? Blackston. There's no T. Okay. Michael Black's son? Yes, son of a black man. Oh, okay. Is your dad black? Real black. Okay. So, or are you really a bitch ass nigga? No. How will we know? <laughs> I mean, I haven't been slapped yet. Nobody, you know. So getting slapped makes you a bitch ass nigga. I mean, if you. So is Chris Rock a bitch ass nigga? No, no, he's not. You said you haven't been slapped. I mean, I slapped. didn't mean in that way. I just meant like nobody beat me up yet. Yeah, when you said bitch nigga, so many somebody just everybody just beat up for no reason. Because mm. there's a difference between getting beat up and fighting back. That is true. Getting beat up means you didn't do nothing. Right. And then when you get into a fight with somebody, y'all fought. It was yeah. both in Right. Either you lose or not, you still fought. You're right. So you didn't get beat up. And when you lose, doesn't mean you're a bitch ass nigga. A bitch ass nigga mean different things. But I'm none of them mm -hmm. in real life. <laughs> right. Maybe on in TV. Did on, you come up with that when it was part of that? Or that was Nah, I was just, I was just, it was a very hungry stage of my life, you know, as a comedian. I was just like, it, I was probably at my one of my at my funniest moment, you know. And I thought that uh, what make people laugh is people who make fun of themselves more. At the end of the day, if you make fun of yourself, nobody then people never can't fuck with you because you don't even give a fuck about your own self. So what do I care about anybody else making? That is facts. That is facts. If you clown on yourself, that's gonna make people laugh all day long. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought about the funniest thing, the most degrading thing I could say about myself. Mm -hmm. At that moment on, on set, it was not in the script. Let's start this interview off right. It's like, you might have your toes out. Bro, whoa. <laughs> Why? I mean, I just feel like let's get comfortable. Are you scared? I'm not scared. Do he got good toes? <laughs> Bro, nah. <laughs> what, both feet? Yo, yeah, both feet. nah, that's wild. Okay. You like lotion? Yeah, oh my god, like, man. You don't really wear it. I wear it. Yo, what the fuck? E bro, what? Oh my god, what is that black spot? Man, got calluses, dog. Oh my god, what is this? Man, 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 man. I'm listen to me. Take care of your fucking feet. Take care of your feet, man. Not just for yourself, for the ladies. What the hell, man? If this man didn't have the money he had. <laughs> Bro, what's... What about... That shit's nasty. I have lotion on. I mean, not the... I ain't get the... Lotion wear! Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, these are questions. What country in Africa are you from? You know what, I really represent all of Africa, man. I don't represent just one country. Like, my blood is from one place. I was raised in one place. Then I got like my education, uh, my discipline in one in a different place, you know, so. Do you feel like you're a liar? No. Yeah, I mean, cause I looked into it. That was, sometimes I looked through a lot of your interviews like years back and that's the same thing you said before. So you kind of. <laughs> Bro, Marco be thing. pulling out some receipts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, has a white and it be it, it be the most unnecessary receipts, bro. You a nigga before? Um, yes. Oh my god. Did it hurt? Nah, it didn't hurt. Mm -hmm. It didn't hurt because you know I was I think it was like it was more like doing sex. Right. Like, afterwards, and I question about it, but when you fucking everything is out the door. So what if she had said, "Bitch ass nigga," would you have stopped in? Like, hold on, or nigga. After I would have came, I would have probably said, hey, what the fuck was that about? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about <laughs> relationships? 
I think they're great. You know, when you find the right person. Mm -hmm. How you know what's right? You feel it. You know. Like when you say feel it, do you like ass and titties feel it, or just like heart feel it? Heart feel it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you rather like ass or titties? What's your thing? I'm an ass man. Ass man. Ass. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been exposed? What you mean? Just exposed like this? Yes, bro. <laughs> bro, if you're a titty person, oh my god, you're sick, bro. You're weird and you're sick, bro. If you are a titty guy, bro, like, bro, oh my god, you're sick, bro. That's just so deformed, bro. If a female has big titties and no ass, what? A, what? Bro, you got bro, ass guy all the way, bro. Like, you got the smallest titty, bro. At the end of the day, I'm fucking the ass. I ain't, you know? Like, to and something that's like, what the hell? Titty fucking. I've been exposed. Like, somebody have exposed me. Just Dude. exposed. I mean, my dick been exposed before. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Where the video? How do you feel about child support? Oh, I hate it. I think it's the worst thing they came up with. Also, you don't like to support your kids. <laughs> <laughs> myself, I like to support my kid myself, not to send money to the mother. I was just saying, just support them. Like, child, like no. I support you. Oh, okay, that's what you. Yeah, just, I said child support. You say you hate it, so I'm like, you don't take care of the kids. <laughs> care of the kids. But you just say you hate it. I hate giving money to somebody else to take care of my kids. But I'm talking about child support as a support. Like LeBron James support his son. And bro, to the Marco just knows, bro. He knows how to like say little slick shit in between. And bro, is bro. How do you feel about him supporting his son? Yes, of course. But you just said you hate child support. What well, child support is a is is court. I hate. You know what the fuck I mean. <laughs> uh, hey. So, do people write your stand up? No. He said, Mike, you, you funny. You know, take that on stage. Let me help you write. Let me help you write. I write my stand up. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about something that's trying to leave? Do you let it go or do you keep it? What it say if, you know, if you love something, let it go. If it come back, it was meant to be. So, so explain your hairline. Oh damn, that's go, wild. It, it, it's a barber that let it go. Would you ever go bald? No. Have you tried it? No. You feel like you discriminate? Against what? Bald heads? No, it's just not my thing. I have too many- But I, if you never tried it, how you know it's not your thing? I have too many knots on my head. You know? So you was bald before to know that, or you I, just feel it? I just feel it. Mm -hmm. How many times do you feel like you got a bite or apple to finish it? <laughs> a whole apple? Yeah, like how many bites do you think it can- I've take? never counted. I got an apple. I don't know where the nigga hand been. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> That's two. Okay. How long you gonna eat this fucking apple for? I, I want. I want to know. Do Marco pay these motherfuckers to come on this interview? He has to pay them, bro. Like, it's no way he just does this shit. And they just come, bro. Before, what? Before let, it's me, done. let me look at it. How many you've taken so far? Three. Thirty bites. Okay. Let's go. Nigga, I'm gonna sit here and watch you eat a fucking apple. <laughs> you said thirty bites. I'm at four. All right. But now you're gonna take bigger bites now just to prove me wrong. <laughs> you not? What would you like me to do? Take regular bites. What's the record? <laughs> Want to try Biden? No, nah, I ain't buying that shit. Bro, bro, Michael Blackson looks serious as hell right now, dog. <laughs> Dumber. Bro, Marco just know how to get on the motherfucker nerves, bro. Do you regret hanging out with me? Today, yeah. <laughs> you gonna eat that whole fucking apple all day? I regret it. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're a legend. What do you feel about that? I mean, legend is a, is a title that people give you. I don't think you give that to yourself. So if you feel like I am, I appreciate that. So what about Michael Jackson? You don't feel like he should say that about himself? Well, we all know Michael Jackson's a legend. He don't have to say it. We know it. You are. You've been in the game for how long? Over 25 years. And you never fell off. Mm -hmm. What do you guys say about comedians to make money? Because it's like, it's, it's really, you know what? Like a rapper can rap for like, and have one hit song and mm -hmm. get a million dollar deal. That's and you true. can just make people laugh. And where did the millions come for us? Well, back in the day, back in the 90s, you know, when the industry 
<laughs> That's when the industry went stuck. Mm -hmm. When people heard that you're funny, they give you holding deals. Mm -hmm. Holding deals are deals that where they sign you, they'll give you like a, back in the day, they'll give you like half a million dollars. Between 250,000 to half a million to like people they thought was funny and they held them. So no other network would take them and try to um, develop a show around them. Mm. And if it happens, it happens. If it don't happen, at least like you got Martin. the Martin. Jamie Foxx, Wayne Brothers, they all had TV shows. They all had holding deals, and then boom, the shows got picked up. So it was Dang, easy that's, to be a I, I didn't even know that. They don't that's do actually it. crazy, bro. I never knew that. Bro, just thinking about that, what? They about TV shows. Nah, it's different now. But, but you know, I know. It, don't get it wrong. I think it's, it's better now, you know? It's better now because now you're in more control of your life, you know? Well, here's the thing. You know, I mean, we got... New comedians are making. Let's say Young DC Fly. He's been in the game for a long time. And he's great. No, he's not. Not he ain't been there that long. DC got like less than ten years. Less than ten years. I remember. He's he's around like eight between eight to ten. I remember when he started. He started out roasting. So people. how long was Martin in the game before he got his TV show? Uh, let me see. Martin. Because he started Martin show or whatever. Martin was on Star Search. But look, Star Search was like nineteen ninety. But most of the comedians. Mm -hmm. Was in movies. Dave Chappelle, yeah. Yeah, Richard Pryor, mm -hmm. anybody you name got a movie role. Big, too. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, they don't get that out for real. We're in a different era, man. But that's what I'm saying. Is it better to be one in and now? But well, you said back you then, it was better to be a bigger star. I think right now, it's a lot more of us now doing our thing all at the same time. Compared to back then, it was one nigga at a time. They had the Think Martin. about it. We had Richard Pryor. <laughs> then what? Steve Eddie Harvey Murphy. and Cedric Entertainer. Okay, Steve Harvey Sun Entertainer, and then what, the whole Kings of Comedy. Okay, we have five that came out. <coughs> whoop de whoop, five. What the whoop we doing? It just meant like, <laughs> meaning like. <laughs> the <laughs> boom, <laughs> the Mark the Boom. Five. By the way, I'm at 17 bikes. Keep going. You counting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the boom, Marco just knows how. He just, dog, oh, Marco, oh my God. Okay. All right, so five now niggas. Now you're taking baby bites. All right, five niggas. It's five niggas. That was the Kings of Comedy. Mm -hmm. And yes, I think they all had a TV show, if I'm not mistaken. Dio had a show. Cedric had a show. Bernie Mac had a show. Steve Harvey had a show. It was those four, right? Mm -hmm. they, had the, they were the hottest comedians. Okay, we had four at one time. Mm -hmm. That's after, like, when? I mean, prior to that was who? Chris Rock. Right. He got his own show, too. Yeah, he had his own show. Everybody. So everybody that was big, they have their own show. I agree. They all had sitcom. Nobody watching sitcoms anymore. It's not like it was back in the 90s and the early 2000s. But they really pushing it, though. They don't, because we have the internet now. People, our attention span has went into the trash. We don't have the attention span to sit there and watch no nigga for 30 minutes anymore on TV being clean. <laughs> it's different. We don't have that no more. So but that, that is so true, so bro. True. That's why everybody just so accustomed to the fucking clips. It's like on TikTok and shit, funny ass clips of scenes people make up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Like we're, we're so accustomed to seeing just that one minute rather than watching a whole comedy shit. But I, I don't know about this generation that I'm in, but. I still enjoy watching a whole comedy show, but I feel like it's we enjoy watching a, a more of a one minute than a fucking thirty or twenty minute comedy central shit. Something that can help you can also hurt you. Mm -hmm. So, what do you feel about Instagram? You feel like the internet has helped and hurt us? Yeah, yeah, helped it, yeah. Cause now anything anything bad comes out, you find out right away. Right. You know, at the same time, your, your Instagram, if you have a big following, that's your own personal television show. Now you, you can sell your own tickets now. You have an audience. So it could hurt and help at the same time help. Do you feel like you're a slut or a slut maker? <laughs> Am I a slut or a slut maker? <laughs> What's a slut maker? Make sluts or you the slut? You mean like a male hoe? Just say I got <laughs> slutted out by this girl because I, I, she put me on something I never knew about. <laughs> oh, you're a slut maker. So it's either or? Like, you make sluts. Like, you didn't make a girl, like... Oh, <laughs> did some slutty shit. Yeah, slut. Mm. And, like, my mom was I a slut. I think I turned... You know, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Like Dog. So slut is too, like, strong. Yeah, slut is too whorish. Mm -hmm. So freak. 
Yeah. Some say like you're a freak or a freak maker. That's better. Uh, I'm not even that freak of a freak. I'm not like you know, um, doing really wild shit. What's the wildest thing you ever done? I'm listening. Like what? As far as what? When it comes to like fantasies. Probably fucked three women at one time. How's that possible? You got one dick. I got two balls, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. So it was one time I had a threesome. It was with his friend and her friend. My friend was a stud. Huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what? Bro, what? <laughs> Ain't no fucking way, dog. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Just thinking about that. Ain't no fucking way this man, dog. Bro, what? Bro, <laughs> dog, is it him a stud and what? Bro, like, like, how does that work, bro? She put the strap on, and, but... But she said she wanted something, like, she just wanted some dick for a night. Damn, I'm trying to think if I ever fuck a stud before. Would you fuck a stud? She has a coochie, right? Right. It's tight. We know it's tight, because there ain't nothing going in there. Mm-hmm. I want to think back, I think maybe, like, 10 years. It's not like something I've done. I can't remember her name or her face, but I feel like I'm... Fucked up. Have you ever got, like, had head before you went on stage before? Right before I went on stage? Yeah. I've got some pussy right before I went on did stage. Did it help you or did it hurt you? Nah, it didn't help. Oh, so you regret that? You'll never do that again? It, nah, because you want to, it's like any job. You want to go to work at your thing that involves you coming, takes away your energy. What? What makes you stand out? Uh, I'm different. In, like, what way? Um, maybe because I'm, I'm, from, an Af- I'm from Africa. That's first. Mm-hmm. You make me stand up from maybe every other comedian in America. Rate yourself one through ten. What's is one the highest or what? Do you look better than me? <laughs> I'm judgment, but like we went out, just like white t-shirt and pants. Who will get more women? And me just went out in white t-shirt and pants. Yep. I probably I probably more popular than you. I probably just no without a, take away the names. We I, just probably, two I probably got more swag than you, man. No, we just white. T- we got the same thing on. Probably me. I feel like it's me because I'm decent. Like, you okay. <laughs> I'm decent. You look old and young at the same time. You know, bitches ain't gonna know. Like so like, they ain't gonna know. You can't feel I can pass with 35 or... Yeah, 90. Damn. Early 60s. <laughs> Late 50s. You look old and young, nigga. Seriously, I'm not trying to be funny. But you're old and young, nigga. I've been through some shit. I can tell. All right. Well, and I just feel like, what advice do you got for... Just people. Like, I mean, you walk around being ugly all day. How you not give a fuck? Damn. You know what the thing about it? As long as I'm ugly to the niggas, that's all I always matter. make money. You, you know got what? a lot of girls. Yeah, but I, I, I want to stay Back ugly. then, because you're be... done now, right? Hmm? You're done playing and shit. You just yeah, like. I got a woman now. Yeah, yeah, but back then, you had like a lot of women. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Yes or no? I, I just. I, <laughs> okay. What do you mean? Back then? Yeah. Uh-huh. Prior to my relationship, I had a lot of chicks, yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you feel like you got to work on that? Just answer the fucking question, bro. <laughs> yes or no, that's... <laughs> Niggas be making shit so complicated, dog. You haven't worked on personality. As far as what? Just, just me, you. Just me personally, myself. Mm-hmm. More patience. Yeah, don't overthink. Sometimes I overthink. Mm-hmm. No. Bro, that's the first thing everybody needs to know in life and understand. Patience, don't overthink a lot of shit, bro. You overthink a lot of shit, you get stressed out, you you can't focus, just so much going on. Don't overthink nothing, bro. Bro, don't. And patience, man, patience. It's a lot of impatient people in this fucking world, man. Bro, patience, bro. I would think in a neg- negative way. Whether mm-hmm. it's about people or something, I just react too quick. I should sit back more and relax, give it a day or two before I make a decision. Mm-hmm. So do you like to, you feel like you need things in life? Or you're a needer? Nah. So you don't need deodorant? What you say that? I'm what? just saying, like, when you feel like you need stuff. Like, you say you don't need nothing, so you don't need the other. No, I don't need I have it on right now. Right, but you can go weeks without it. No, I need it every day. So you do need stuff. Deodorant, motherfucker. Yeah, but you do need stuff. 
<laughs> so you need you needy. I'm not needy. But you just say that you need deodorant. It's part of hygiene. Not necessarily, unless you make it. It's the people that don't believe in deodorant. Do you? I don't like to need nothing. Stick. <laughs> they tell me you feel like you oh, have to be so like, Damn, maybe I should. Um, I think for my dressing, I think I'm probably, I mean, Steve Harvey, you know, was a dresser about, you know, early 2000s or whatever. But I think lately, I think as far as comedy, I think I'm the best dresser on stage. Mm-hmm. I put a lot into my clothes. I think when people come to see you perform, they want to see where their money's going. And you started, like, you used to dress up on the BET Comic View stuff. Well, I started out with the dashiki. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then from there, I just been dressing more like this in the past 10 years. Mm-hmm. Do you got normal clothes? What's wrong with this? Hmm? Is that normal? I mean, like... Oh, that shit like ain't normal, jeans, nigga. Tank tops. Tank tops. Mm-hmm. Or are you gonna put a bro, this, this man has the most craziest wardrobe, bro. This man, Michael Blackson, be dressing all type of shit. That's why Lil Duval be clowning his ass every time you see him. Like, what the fuck you wearing? Yeah, like movie. I am. I'm working on it now. Can I be in it? Hmm? I got you. Oh, you just telling me that? No, I, I found it. It's a partner for a homeless nigga. I got you. All right. All right. I'm like a crackhead. I can probably do that real well. Because Chris Rock, he played one in the movie. Remember, he played it? And it was like a big act, like... I feel like I can really, really play a crackhead. I believe you. So I got that role? You got it. So <laughs> in the Friday airs when you did play Friday, mm-hmm. what is like a, a moment that you like love to remote, like relive shooting the movie? After we shot it, I went, we had like a, um, they do like a screening for the actors just to see the movie. Mm-hmm. And I didn't laugh at my scene once because I felt like I did so much more funnier things that they just cut it to that two minutes that it had. One, it's actually like one minute, 45 seconds, something like that. Mm-hmm. For some reason, I feel like I did better once, better jokes. That part was a legendary part. It is, but if I was in the editing room, it would have been more legendary. What would you have changed? I don't remember the, I don't remember exactly now because it's been 20 years. Would you have put yourself... I did not know that. So, so that, yeah, one minute and 45 seconds of screen time. If y'all ain't know, I, I did acting. That's actually a long ass time. But the fact that he said he probably he had a longer time and they cut it to that. It, it, motherfuckers gonna always wonder what what did the part they cut look like. Stuff in the movie again? Uh, no, not that, but after that. And scene, I feel like a lot yeah. of movies oh, yeah, are like party that. Or I feel like you should have been at the party. You mean on the, in the next Friday after that? Like it's, it's it's probably a lot of parts in different movies that's been cut that we never we're never gonna get to see never. Yeah, because hold on, that's one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah the yeah, party. Yeah, or yeah, like uh, some yeah stuff. I think I should have. But you know what? One thing about Cube, he likes you know Cube created a lot of he brought a lot of legends to life. Mm-hmm. You know, so he you know he knew that we did the Friday, the next Friday, and then Friday after the next. So he, he had one more movie just to like to still discover a few other comedians. And that's when you know you know when you could be in a movie for five five seconds or so. Well, it's more than that. But or yeah, like ten seconds. No, like a minute forty five seconds. All right, minute forty five seconds. That's legendary. Thanks, man. I look up to you. I really feel like I like to hang out with you for like a week. <laughs> and just come over to your house and hang out and stuff. That's a long time. I don't hang with nobody that long. Huh? No, you would like to hang out with me for a week. Like hang with who? Me. Just hang out. Just me and you. That's a long time. I can't hang with no niggas that long. Not niggas, but it's just nigga. Like yeah. I'll be the nigga. Nigga and niggas. No. So we did a TV show like like Michael Black Sun and Marco. Mm-hmm. Like and we just go do stuff together. Not a not a week straight though. Three days oh, at a time. No, a week will be good. We knock it all out. Five days the most, man. I can't mm-hmm. hang with nobody that long. I get yeah. anxiety. Not that. I, I I get tired of motherfuckers quick. You sleepy? Yeah. Are you tired me right now? No, no, you good. How many bikes you at right now? I'm at 36. <laughs> <laughs> wow, right? One thing I can say, I want to give you the show, that you do show love to comedians. Like, especially, just not anybody, but if you feel like they make you laugh, yeah. you actually show love to people. Like, you respond to DMs, you're right. rude as fuck, but <laughs> you talk to people, and I feel like you give a lot of people a chance. It's like, Thanks, man. I'm glad you noticed that. I, you know, when I, I hate a waste of talent, man. When I see something and I think it's funny, I, I don't mind doing stuff with them. But what is your funny? Best friend that passed away. This mm-hmm. nigga was just a natural dude. And what was his type of funny? He would just, just, it was off the wall. Like, you would ask him something and he'd come up with, like, the stupidest answer. Like, Rush Hour. Like, y'all was like them, too. Because Jackie Chan was funny, but it was just, like, we're funny, though. Right. So that was, was like that. Y'all were, like, yeah. 
Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, Rush Hour 8. Yeah. Favorite movie? Favorite movie in the whole world, Coming to America, first one. Uh, what about a movie that we wouldn't expect you to say? Of course, Scarface. Well, okay, you all know Scarface. Mm -hmm. right? I like Blow. You ever seen Blow? Mm -hmm. Catch Me If You Can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the old Eddie Murphy movies, like the Beverly mm -hmm. Hill Cops. One or two trading places. I've I never seen like, none so of them but the Scarface. Only seen the Scarface. My auntie and uncle were about to kick him out the house because he's been getting in trouble a lot. He uh, owed the drug dealer like some money. So the drug dealer been shooting at him. And then it's a bully. Like he been beating up people. He beat up the bully. And now they just like, he got to come stay with you. I'm like, what do you think I should do? Do you want him to come stay with you? They want him to come stay with me. I mean, you don't want your life to be in danger, because if they're shooting at this nigga, they might fuck around and shoot you. Shoot. Right. So, no. So, he he needs to move out of state. He need to go somewhere else. <laughs> so, if it was up to you, it wouldn't be no Friday, because I just talked about the movie Friday. <laughs> it wouldn't be no Friday. Is that what the script is about? That's what Friday was. Ice Cube was got beat up the school bull, De Debo. Mm -hmm. He was getting shot at. What the and fuck did he do? He moved. Yeah, that's it. And I was supposed to be Day Day, the cousin. But you said don't let him move with me, so it wouldn't be no movie. Thanks to you, you <laughs> fucked up the history. <laughs> nah, this nigga Marco, <laughs> boy. <laughs> that's all he got to say. So I appreciate y'all. Um, what can I be looking out for? Huh? Anything coming out that you need to look out for? Uh, I'm on tour. July 15 to 16, I'll be in San Diego at the American Company Comedy Club. July 21st to the 23rd, I'll be at the Arlington Improv in Texas. Uh, July 30th, I'll be at the Ritz Theater in Elizabeth, New Jersey. August 4th to the 6th, I'll be at Caroline's on Broadway in New York City. August damn. 13th, I'll be at the Belco Theater in- Oh, God damn! Like, bro. <laughs> We, shh, I understand get that money, but shit, what? That's, that's, that's a lot of fucking shows in a short period of time. Denver, Colorado. You busy as hell. I'm, busy. I'm booked all the way to the end of the year. Damn. Oh my God. Where you work next? Oh, uh, shit. I was just like, I mean, it's I think book you said all the way that. to the I mean, end of the year. <laughs> so I'm busy. Uh, I wake up at 7 a.m. I get on Twitch. So I'm going to get you in the movie. So I can start FaceTiming you and just talking to you sometime? Yeah, FaceTime me. I don't pick up all the time, but FaceTime me. Oh, what? When should I call you? Like tonight? Not tonight. All right, tomorrow? Hmm. Thursday? <laughs> First Saturday? I'm here. I have a show. What time are you going on show? 7 p.m. Okay, I'll call you around 4. For what? Just to talk to you. You sound your nigga. Yeah, call me. I'll blow you up. I won't always pick up. Why? I pick it periodically, man. I didn't talk to you every day. You don't even know I spell periodically. You, you can't even pronounce you spell it. I can't you spell it. Periodically? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I O G. <laughs> I A C. Yeah, look at your girl. She just helped you. I ain't looking at her. You did. You she helped you out. She was trying to help you spell it. Periodically. P E R I O D. I A C C L Y. Alright, that's it. Get it off with Michael Watson. I can't even spell that shit. Hey, can you check his audio make sure it's going? Well, what, if it, what if it wasn't going? The whole time? I think it's started. Oh, God, look at his face, bro. Bro, Michael always do this shit at the end, dog. Uh. Alright, that's shit, it. Bro. Okay, get it off with Michael Watson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you check his audio? Make sure it's going. What if it wasn't going? Marco always do this shit, dog. <laughs> he be getting niggas with this shit, bro. Imagine you do this shit. They say the audio was annoying, dog. I'm like, hey, man. The whole time? I told you to start it. The mic. <laughs> he didn't push record on that one. He didn't record at all. You gotta be shitting. No, and this is the main shot right here. It's the white shot. I need this. This is their, our, this is their established shot. You told me that, but we still got to get the show done. I get that, bro. Look, give me 30 more minutes so we can do it. What was he doing? With that camera pointing at you for it? Fit to, hey, point okay, it over here. Hey, oh, yeah, the microphone had, like... Hold on. Black, can you take off your shoes? Okay, I just pushed it back in over <laughs> there. So yeah, listen, still... I ain't falling for your bullshit, all right? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 No, if I can get it off, no, but seriously, this thing credits school court. Just do the intro again. Just do the intro, like take your shoes on, on and off, and that'd be cool. You gotta be shaking. No, I'm serious. Just and then you run on here too, 
ask Michael Blackson to say he that what do you feel about Alien? If he say yes, this shit will go viral. Exactly. Yeah, have you talked about aliens on the internet yet? That <laughs> I'm not. That's why I didn't show. ask that question that's though. That's perfect. It's a viral show, sir. I need shot and battle. I need something for that. Aliens. Aliens, dude, it's all over the internet. If, he, <laughs> if Michael Blackson says that he believes in aliens, I don't believe in aliens. You don't? No. But that's what he said. Get him to say it, even that? if he. What the fuck they got to do with anything? What, what, what me being African has to do with me? You know shit about aliens. I don't give a fuck. I don't know about the aliens. Aliens first landed in Africa. The fuck you get that from? In Egypt is a part of Africa, right? Yes. They seen aliens first. That's 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 biblical. That's it in dictionaries. I I mean I, I haven't looked that shit up. So you saying he has to say it? You can't tell me to make him say what he wants to say. I'm not saying. I'm just. I'm asking if you said it, because that'd be good for the show. I'm not saying no dumb shit. But you're not. Your yeah, but I mean I'm just, I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> for you. Right. I'm not telling you to. That's why no, they no, say nothing about show. it. You're on the show, though. Yes, but what my we fuck you want me to say? Tell the nigga I love aliens. <laughs> you said something in the K line. I believe in aliens, or I don't. Oh, they, uh, bro, they be fucking with people so much, bro. At this point, bro, I would have been hot, bro. I'm like, nah, yeah, yeah, man, I'm out of here. Yeah, bullshit. Oh, okay, I'll say I don't believe in aliens. But no, I need you to stand, stand back and take that shoe off right there. <laughs> <laughs> But you no, said tell him to say that he do. No, what you mean? I take my shoes up, but why am I not standing out in this fucked up floors? Look at the camera right here. <laughs> and say what? My name is Michael Blackson, and I don't believe in him. I don't, I don't like the way that shit's going. I said that a million times. Y'all ain't captured it by now. But you want to look at the camera. What fucking camera I got to look at? Oh, this one right here. Why? What camera? <laughs> and say what? I don't believe in fucking aliens. I don't believe in fucking aliens, man. We met, oh, you see, now that sounds stupid, because I don't right. know if I'm in... Like fucking them as in sex, or I don't believe in <laughs> That niggas is full of shit. <laughs> nah, we fucking with you. <laughs> nah, it's funny. <laughs> 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 he was falling for it, and then we saw it. He was like, the falling, you caught it out. He gonna be on the paper and say, he ain't talking about this shit ain't working either. <laughs> nah, watch this show. Niggas is full of shit. <laughs> Y'all gonna make. Hello. These are lyrics that you have said. They hate me, but they broke, though. That song, ooh. I'm rich and they fucking hate it. That's petty wop. They say they packing. Shit, I'm packing too. So out of all this, this is like day. Who are they? Oh, What's man. your record game? Rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shotgun. You lost. Shotgun either. I get it or you get it. Not I mean. <laughs> Marco is hilarious as fuck, bro. Dog, oh my god, that was good. That was. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? This man, Marco, bro. And he, he just asked the craziest fucking question that be getting him. And then try to twist their words and shit like that. I fuck with this shit, man. And if y'all like the video, make sure y'all like it. <laughs> Comment, subscribe. Comment, let me know what else I should react though. I'm just going off a bunch of shit until football season start. But that was a good little watch, man. But I'm out, man. I'll catch y'all. Peace.